Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> Outfit <laughs> check. <laughs> okay. Things that are edible. This is so good. <laughs> anyway, they get ruined as it goes on. Kind of. <laughs> okay. Anyway, paint. Did you see how I like blurred it? It the creamness. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, chalk. Imagine the crunch. <laughs> Next stupid. one, bark. Woof woof woof. <laughs> Next one, Polly Pocket Clothes. Oh my god, I used to eat blue Cinderella dress. <laughs> Is that like really glittery? Yes. Wait. Next one. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> Enticing. <laughs> Next one. Hi. Nobody, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I gotta stretch his body. <laughs> Why is he so hard? <laughs> I like how both of yours are going to die. Oh, sorry, I forgot the last part. Sit back down. But then I. Two pretty best friends. It's always one of them got to I don't think she really. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> that was disgusting. Okay. This is why there is no way Helen Keller existed. This is the last slide, but I can do that one now. Apparently, she flew a plane. Uh, yes. Yes. Zero. You can Google it. I can Google it. Apparently, Helen Keller flew a plane, and I just think personally. If you can't hear or see, how do you even know what a plane is? First of all, <laughs> and second of all, there's no way you can do that. Was there braille on the plane? No. Okay, also, if you Google Helen Keller, <laughs> there are quotes that come up. She could not talk. Can I continue? For, okay, I just, there's no way she was real. She would literally be like a vegetable. There just, <laughs> she can't see, she can't hear. She's just like living in a... Darkness with no sound. Imagine. There's no way she wrote an autobiography. Yeah. She had a husband, and that is why there is no way that Helen Keller existed. Up, show up, show up, show up. Hey, Nene. Hey, Panini. Hey, Nene. And hey, Crystal. Don't you be a Nene. You guys are so appreciated. Hey, Nene. <laughs> Anyways, back to my top ten favorite words. Okay, Dander. so these are my top ten favorite words. <laughs> Like last night, I woke up about three times because I was dreaming, and each time I had lice. And I was... <laughs> Anyways, top ten favorite words. Number ten. Spaghetti. <laughs> this is the theoretical st theoretical no. stretching of an object as it encounters extreme no. divergences in the gravitational forces, especially those associated with a black hole. I just like it because it sounds like spaghetti. <laughs> And that was ten times better. It's a person's head. And I would have I didn't include a picture because I thought that wasn't a good idea. You can you can read what it was. <laughs> Next up is time. Anyways, um, as you can see here with the pronunciation, it's time. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Incandescently. With this. Um this is actually not a real word, I don't think, because I couldn't find it. Mr. Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know, but I won't elaborate further. Some of these I did elaborate a little bit further though. Just oh, good stuff. Okay. the first one. <laughs> um, I think this one's pretty self-explanatory. He yeah. disgusts me. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's terrifying. Do you see that? He yeah. looks like he wants to eat me. Um, <laughs> Look at his eyes. Look at his little brother Lucas. 
this one is self-explanatory if you know who Lucas is, but if you don't, I here's don't some references. Oh. <laughs> Tripping mustard. This one is really bad. If we get famous, you can get <laughs> <laughs> Joey King. Father's she's just... She's just... Icky. Yeah. Urkish. And she played Gypsy Rose. <laughs> this one is very specific. It's when you wipe your nose and there's a booger that gets on your finger and you can't get it off and then it's just rolling around to your- makes me want to vomit and it makes me very angry. <laughs> this is the 2011 <laughs> Nissan Leaf. This is the 2011 Nissan Leaf. Okay. I don't know if you know what it looks like, but- That's Ew! Ew! And it's just really ugly and it makes it me like want to hit them. Like the next one, <laughs> Bella Swan. She cheated on Robert. Oh, this is when you're watching TV and then a little fly like goes up to the TV and it won't come off. And there's a reference. Um, the consistency of mushrooms. <gasps> Same. Mushrooms. Like mushrooms are good, but then sometimes they have this weird consistency where it's like. There's my reference. People named Tyler. Um. Oh my gosh! What's wrong with you? I love him. <gasps> Clumsy. The he just makes mistakes. No, Everybody no. has them right. He is the one who went the wrong way on the little fork in the road. Then and he he's stupid. Like he's ugly. Like oh, next one is buttonless cardigans. Ooh. Specifically this type of cardigan. Because you can't hang them. They always fall off. And they're Literally useless. Okay. They're useless. Um, <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh. Have Tika, the whole movie. Barbie's just trying to get with her man. And then Tika... The title oh, screen isn't loading, but it says how you would die in the Hunger Games in the corresponding districts. And so Caroline is from District 1, which is the luxury district. Mm. Um, she volunteered for the 69th Games. So over here is going to be her district parade outfit. Here's the <laughs> bed. And then yeah, her yeah. district partner is Pharrell Williams. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was fitting because his hat's really big, and I thought that just screamed luxury. Okay. So, the arena was a scorching hot desert. Mm, nice. Her cause of death is by sand. So he, I'll go into the story here. As you know, her <coughs> sister partner was Pharrell. They kind of allied up at the beginning, and then Pharrell said, I'm over this. I can't do this anymore. He throws sand at Caroline. She gets it in her eyes. She's like, ah, I can't see. And she gets shoved onto the ground, and then he shoves sand down her throat, and she chokes and dies. So, um... Thanks for spelling it right. She's from District 8, which is the textile district. I was doing this based off of her, you know, little sewing phase she had. She sewed some scrunchies. <laughs> you know, I just thought it was really fitting. So um, I'd say literally like She was reached for the 57th Games. I totally made this up. Here's her district parade outfit. I think it's really <laughs> <laughs> Her district partner <laughs> is <laughs> Adam Levine. <laughs> now, her arena was a grassland and raging rapid. And um, this is the grasslands, and as you know, grasslands um, can catch on fire really quickly. So basically, here's what happens. Oh. Suddenly, her arm catches on fire, and she's like, ah! And she slices it off, because she's like, this isn't good. <laughs> so she goes to the Raging Rapids, puts her arm in, trying to like oh. help it heal, and instead there's some infectious stuff, and it gets in her arm, and it gets super infected, so that's why she chops it off. Uh, the flesh and bacteria. And so then she dies because of infection and blood oh. loss. Funny. Next up, Allison. Um, you're from District 6, which is transportation. It's also the district that the druggy people are on in the second movie. Oh so that's kind of the where I was going The I mean, um, you were reaped for the 65th Games. Your district parade outfit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the reason I went with this is because your pineapple outfit, I was drawing inspiration mm. from that. Um, your district Rick partner Carl. is Bon Jovi. <laughs> your arena is a tropical forest. You're allied with Bon Jovi, obviously, John Bon Jovi, to be clear, this, mm -hmm. that specific one. And you're doing fine. You're doing fantastic. You get to this point where it's only you and him left. You were bitten by this spider. And suddenly, you're, like, super crazy. You're going berserk. Your mouth is, like, foaming. You're going crazy. That's what happened to Simon. And I'll guess what? what? You're built different. You kill Bon Jovi and you win the games. Oh. I'm really proud. I'm from District 10, which is the livestock district. Mm -hmm. I was rooted for the 42nd games. Here's my fit. <laughs> my partner is Michael Bublé. <laughs> I was in a coliseum. Here's an image. Well, my cause like of death, I was beaten it. by a brick. So, not Michael, because he died. There's no way that man could survive anything. So he's like dead right off the start. Anyways, some point along the way, I just get my head completely bashed in by a brick. That's it. That's the end. Clap for me. Things I would do as president. Get chaotic. Kill all those people who sleep in socks.
they freaking deserve it. <laughs> Next. <laughs> that will be our national anthem. <laughs> Barn the bee. Not Next. I like that picture. If you don't like doing death, may the death be upon thee. Death be upon thee. Basically, the assassin will be sitting on the couch and have like super hearing. And then if they hear anyone say anything bad about Dwayne Chun, bah! If you would like to go to college, go on the maze. If you make it through the maze, you're elite. Get free college. I would like to hurt you all. Abby yeah. style. First of all, Maddie. This is the pyramid. Mm -hmm. Next, mm -hmm. me. <laughs> Next, Addie. Nia. She did make it up from the last spot, but glasses <laughs> out. <laughs> And lastly, I ain't never seen two pretty face friends. It's always one of them. I think I have a cyst on my butt.